morning happy sunday i am on my way to church as i was getting ready i started thinking about do y'all remember this book probably 20 years ago it was called the purpose driven life by rick warren i think there was some controversy about you know those california pastors <laughs> but the book was good at during the time when it was out so that had to be like 20 years ago I remember reading it with friends my, and one of my mentors we had our own little study group and so what my, the point I'm making for this morning is that life is hard <laughs> for all of us you know everybody even people who look like they have everything and have it all to, together each person still has to deal with something. I believe Paul called it, you know, a thorn. You know, Lord, please take this away. But it's easy. Whoa. It's it's easy to forget, you know. It's easy to get down and just be like, God, why did you create me? Why am I here? What is the purpose? Lord, I feel like I don't have a purpose. And I have felt that way in my life, you know, plenty of times even when i've already been cleared on my assignment from god but just not you know having the confidence to walk it out but we know that this you know christian race <laughs> it's it's not for the swift right anyway and so i just remember in the book where he talked about you know that god created us to have fellowship with him so even if you feel like you don't know your assignment you're not walking in your assignment and when i say your assignment i mean the kingdom of god as a believer you know for those of us who are striving to you know apply the principles of the word to our life there is a purpose for each one of us and that could just be you being the person on your job to keep people encouraged. You know, the pe person in your family, the prayer warrior, you know, what, whatever you're good at, your gift, it's, it's not for you to keep it to yourself. It's for you to share that with the world, for you to share that with your family to be a witness. You don't have to have a large platform or a following. You know, social media really got us a little twisted and confused because how did you know our elders and the saints operate you know back in the day they wasn't online talking about look what i'm doing really you know um but i know we want to use this now as a way to continue to witness but um you know there's people that do things every day good you know good works and we know that we will not be saved by our works it's not about the works but a lot of the things that we do are really supposed to be like done in, in private the charity you know and so you know a lot of rich people <laughs> you don't hear about the things that they're doing with you know with their money or how much they've given you know you don't know what a person has given you know because there are still spiritual laws and I didn't even really mean to get this deep into it but you know the laws of sowing and reaping and so when that com that comes to money you know that's why we tithe and you know things like that and when we give it's giving back to us and even if you don't have money whatever you're able to give and pour out you know like i said on your job in your family in your ministry in your church whatever that gift is when we when we use that gift and give it out to others God always gives it back to us. So I just wanted to encourage myself and anybody who may be feeling like, I just don't have no purpose, Lord. I This is too hard. I can't do this. You know, a lot of times when I pray, I just be like, Lord, I can't do this without you. Please help me. Please show me. Help me to walk this thing out. And so if we just continue to turn our hearts towards him or back towards him, he will continue to lead us, guide us, and direct us. I pray you guys. Have a great Sunday. Be blessed. Oh, that's what it is. Your Our identity is found in Christ. God don't care about none of that. Your bloodline, you know. I haven't been this way in a minute. <laughs> they bring popping these apartments up. Anyway, God don't care about your degrees. God don't care about your affiliations, your associations. None of that. God can use you 
without having all these credentials, right? God can take the person who has nothing and use that person. So I just wanted us to be clear about that. It's not about what you look like, where you went to school, what you could have came from a good family, you could have came from a bad family. God doesn't care about any of that. Our identity, we are to become Christ-like. Our identity is rooted and grounded in Christ. And, you know, I got to start giving y'all the scriptures, but so far I'm just sounding like a motivational speaker. <laughs> but a lot of what I'm saying is in the word. And so I love you guys. I think I'll try to put the scriptures on here um, when I post it in the description. Have a blessed day.